Alrighty, so the catalog cue system here, to turn the whole screen on and off, all you have to do is press and hold the power button for a second or two, and that'll bring you to obviously your clock with the date and the time up there as well. Uh, real easy just to turn the whole system back on for you. One cool thing with the Cadillac Q system is it has haptic feedback, which you can feel the, the screen vibrating as you touch a button. Uh, the first bit, obviously, as I mentioned, you hit the home button down here. That will always bring you to this page. So if you get buried in screens, you can use that button and it'll always bring you back to here. Obviously, kind of going through these options for you. Audio is going to be whatever you may be listening to. Phone will be whenever you have your Bluetooth connected and your phone paired up. Navigation, obviously it has the built-in navigation in here, which works just like a Garmin or a TomTom. -Tom. Your settings would be for all your different settings as far as horn honks or the way you like it when your, your, your remote start works, all those different things for you. Pandora, you actually have to have an account on your cell phone where it uses your phone data through there. Uh, so obviously that's one thing that, you know, if you have, it's great to use. If not, that one wouldn't be lit up for you. The weather, that is part of the serious trial that you get for the first three months. Uh, and so that actually has built in already. Oh, it's not going to point out because we're inside. But <laughs> it's going to tell you whatever your weather is like for the three day. And then your climate over here is going to show which you can control from all these buttons down here below. Um, all this screen up here is touch screen for you. And so you can obviously touch to the right and then click to see, you know, if once you have your OnStar set up and the car is running, you can select and talk to OnStar as well as you can set your rear climate, as I mentioned before. One cool thing for you, say you're under your audio tab here, all your favorites are going to display down here. And what you can do is you can actually drag this across and show all your different favorites that you may want. You can also drag the whole screen up to show multiple pages of favorites. Your favorites, you can have up to 55 different pages stored. And as soon as you add one to a page, it will add another page for you. And so therefore, that's how you keep adding. The nice thing with those are you can also store not only your AM, FM, and XM, you can also store a phone number or an address that you may constantly be going to. Uh, and then you can also drag the thing back down there for you. As you'll notice, the volume button on here is kind of a hassle to sit here and keep tapping the volume like that to turn it up. The nice thing with it, it actually works like a scroll bar. So you can scroll the volume across as you go, just keep your finger on the bar. And that's nice because otherwise it's kind of a hassle to sit here and tap trying to get through the different volumes for you. The nice thing here, the voice button, anytime you use that button, you can use it to change the radio station, to make a phone call, all sorts of different things. And so the voice command is actually a very nice handy tool, uh, which is also on your steering wheel as well, which we will go through. Uh, radio button, what that's going to do is switch you through your AM, through your FM and XM options as you go through, obviously, switching your source model for you. Finally, the seek button is going to hop you from side, you know, from one station to the next station, kind of going through as you so choose, uh, just to the next one at a time. Media is going to hop you through your CD, perhaps, or an auxiliary cord, or a USB that you may have uh, attached in there. And then finally, the menu button down here, that's going to be if you wanted to tag a song, or change by... Um, like for instance, how loud it may be when you can control how loud the volume is when you're driving down the road. Um, so just a few different things that you can kind of play with on there for you. Um, also on the audio, if you notice up here, these are all what they call quick link buttons. You'll notice that you got your audio, your phone, navigation, and climate once again already at the top for you. So you don't always have to hit the home button to bring it back. You can quickly switch over to your navigation by selecting the, that up there. And then obviously it will show you your navigational map. The nice thing with the navigational map is the fact that it works just like a tablet. And so therefore you can scroll out using your fingers. You can also zoom in and out right there. Um, but you have the ability to do most of the things with your fingers. You can select a destination. And then as I mentioned, it's very similar to a, a Garmin or a TomTom. -Tom. So you can specifically type in an address. Or if you have someone's contacts already in there that you may have an address. Or finally, a point of interest being the main one that you might use. You can search by, you know, for a fuel station um, that might be within the area. And it'll actually show you, when you have a GPS, it'll show you the price as well of all the local um, gas stations and their location as far as how far away they are from you. You can always hit back at the top left here. And that's going to bring you back just one page at a time. And then finally, the exit button will exit you back to your full map.